Well, recently on one of my videos, a viewer had left a comment asking to see some gaming on Fedora because maybe they were interested in that distribution but wanted to make sure that gaming would work. So decided to make this video about gaming on Fedora and it ended up being a bit more of a pain than I thought it was going to be. I decided to do some comparison with Windows and I ended up having a little bit of trouble on both platforms. On Windows, the issue seemed to be with drivers because I had updated to fresh NVIDIA drivers and something glitched on that update. And you can see I was getting like seven and a half FPS in Cyberpunk. Uh, so that wasn't right. So I had to like do a clean reinstall of the drivers and, and then everything seemed to work OK on Windows. The problems on Linux were more game specific, and so there were things like some features not working, like ray tracing isn't working in 40k Dark Tide. And then I had a couple games, Dark Tide and Elden Ring, that on Linux kept on wanting to open on the wrong monitor. They wouldn't open on the main monitor set in Linux, especially with Elden Ring, that caused some issues in getting the game to play on my main monitor, I actually had to unplug my other two monitors, get the game up and running, and do a screen cap with, with just one monitor plugged in. So that was kind of weird. By the way, one of the difficulties I ran into is me. Uh, I didn't have OBS configured correctly on Linux when I started recording. I had the recording quality bitrate set to potato, and so I had to redo all the Linux videos later. So again, just a few frustrations. It just took me longer than I expected. It took over a week to record all this stuff and get everything working the way I wanted it to. So I'm running Windows 10 for the Windows, and the NVIDIA drivers I'm using are the 565.90. And so that's going to be the setup for all of the Windows stuff. For Linux, I'm using Fedora 40 with the 6.11.3 kernel. And I'm using the 560.35.03 NVIDIA drivers. So I am using the proprietary drivers for everything on Linux. And so that'll be that setup. My computer is running an AMD 5950X base stock clocks. I'm running an NVIDIA 3090. I have 64 gigs of memory and every game is running off of an SSD. So again, should be pretty decent performance for everything. So I tend to run all my games at 4K. So keep in mind whenever you see all the frame rates that this is all at 4K resolution. I'm also not a pro gamer. I am not a benchmarker. So this is pretty ad hoc. I just pulled stuff up, ran it to see what would happen. But let's get into it. The first game I'm going to look at is Cyberpunk 2077. So for both Windows and Linux for Cyberpunk, I ran with the AMD Fidelity SR3 version. And that's because the DLSS does not work on Linux for this game. Cyberpunk has a built-in benchmark, and so on Windows, if I ran with the quality setting, I got about 36 frames per second. And this is with OBS running. There is a bit of an impact on both Windows and Linux whenever you're doing screen caps with OBS versus if you run the game by itself. So keep in mind whenever you see anything that's being recorded through OBS, you can usually get three to five FPS higher if you're not screen capping at the same time. So when I ran, instead of quality on balanced on Windows, I would get about 43 to 46 FPS, depending again on whether I had OBS recording or not. My top run on Windows was actually close to 49 FPS on balanced SR3 settings. Now, this is with ray tracing enabled. Um, I'm not using path tracing, but everything's cranked pretty good on these settings. So, again, it's not the highest frame rate possible. It is kind of tilted towards image quality because I like pretty looking games. Now, on Linux, when I ran on balanced, I was getting about 36 and a half frames per second when I was recording with OBS. So that means that compared to having OBS on versus off, it's about five frames per second on Linux that it cost me in this benchmark. That said, it is quite a bit short of where Windows is. You're looking at a good, you know, six, seven frames a second, which is like a 20% difference uh, when you look at the frame rates. It's a pretty big impact on Cyberpunk. Now, I actually think this is 
playable. It's not the best. I, I might want to go over to like performance level on the AMD FSR stuff. 36 to 40 frames a second is okay, but you know, most people would want that closer to 60. So you might pull some of the ray tracing down on this game. On Windows, you can run DLSS, which does work better, I think. And if you have a newer GPU, you could use frame gen. I didn't use any frame gen at all. This is the performance I saw. Windows definitely did better by anywhere from five to eight frames per second, depending on how you configure things. DLSS does work better than the AMD FSR, and screen capping did give quite a bit of hit on both Windows and Linux in this game, roughly five frames a second. Now, next up, I tested Helldivers 2. This is a game that I played quite a bit, and on Windows, it, it runs fine, and as a matter of fact, on Linux, it runs fine. So once again, I'm playing in 4K. I have the render scale set to ultra quality. I am limiting frame rates to 120 frames a second, although I'm not hitting that. I have pretty much everything cranked on this game. So I think everything but shadow quality is maxed out. So this is, again, I have everything set up for really, really high fidelity. It's not set up for max frame rates. So during gameplay on Windows, I would see probably mid 60 FPS, so 65 ish FPS on average. During heavy combat, it would get low 60s. Whenever things are kind of calm, you might see close to 70. So that's kind of what I was looking at. On Windows, you're looking at probably 65 frames a second is what I was able to get in Helldivers 2. Now, this is a game that, with all the settings set the same way, on Linux performed just as well. Basically fully equivalent, maybe even a touch better at times, than the Windows versions. So both Windows and Linux, I would say, were neck and neck. Linux, pretty much on par. During heavy combat, again, you'd see low 60s, maybe down to 60 FPS. Um, during other sections of the game, you would see you know mid-upper 60s. It was hard to get a perfect comparison because I wasn't on the exact same levels. I wasn't doing the exact same combat. There were more particle effects in one thing. I had a lot of fog. So uh, again, based on kind of me looking at these two games, I would say fully equivalent performance between Linux and Windows on Helldivers 2. The next game that I tested was Baldur's Gate 3, one of my favorite games of all time. I've played it a lot. Again, I basically max out everything on this game. It's not a first-person shooter or anything, so frame rates aren't super critical. Anything over 30 is plenty playable. I'd like it to look great, so I crank the resolution. I crank everything up, and I tend not to use any DLSS or scaling or anything on this game. I've got V-Sync on double buffering and pretty much all of the settings cranked to their max. And I tested a few different areas that I have saves for. And so on this game, the frame rates are very inconsistent depending on where you are and what's happening. So what I found is that like if you're in a dungeon, the frame rates typically are very, very high because the game doesn't have to really draw a lot. So I tried to find open areas to really see the lowest frame rates kind of that were happening. And on Windows, you would see pretty much upper 50s, lower 60s in most of the areas that I looked at. It just kind of depends, again, on what was happening on screen and what area specifically I was in. And this is yet another game that on Linux, uh, performance, honestly, I would say is fully comparable. They are within 10%, I would say, of each other, probably a little less. Now, maybe it ran just a touch better on Windows, but again, there were a couple places where actually on Linux I was seeing a bit higher frame rates. It, it just kind of depended a lot on what was happening on the screens, and I would say both of these really felt super comparable, very, very similar frame rates in this game across both Windows and Linux. One of the interesting things also I will add about Baldur's Gate 3 is that DLSS works on Linux in this game. So if you really need higher frame rates, you actually can use DLSS on this game. And so here in an area where on Linux I am really getting kind of mid-60s, I can go in and turn DLSS on. And just at the, you know, the highest quality setting on DLSS and all of a sudden I'm up to 90 you know, 80, 90 frames a second. 
And so, you know, again, performance is really no problem on Linux for me in Baldur's Gate 3. I found it fully comparable to Windows. And if you need it, you can put DLSS on in Linux and it works. The next game I tested was Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, which is a pretty fun game I played for a while. So this is a game that had some wonkiness, um, depending on if you're trying to run it full screen versus windowed. Um, and that happened on both Windows and Linux. I had some issues with getting the, the screen set up correctly. Now that said, I did have more problems with this game on Linux. It would immediately crash on Linux if I enabled any form of ray tracing. So for both Windows and Linux, I tested this game without ray tracing enabled. So Linux would allow me to enable it, but it, the game would just immediately crash. But this is also a very graphically heavy game, so I do use DLSS whenever I play this thing. Fortunately, DLSS for Dark Tide does work in Linux as well. So once again, on this game, I'm playing it at 4K. I have most everything cranked on the settings here. I think I've got maybe screen space reflections off, and I think fog quality I've got it low. Otherwise, pretty much everything is on and maxed out at 4K. I'm using DLSS balanced for this. So whenever you see the frame rates, that's the setting that I'm using, balanced, not quality, um, because it is a bit more of a fast paced game. I want a bit more frame rates. So this is a game where for the most part, I did see better performance on Windows. So during heavy combat on Windows, you'd get probably 80 to 85 FPS, um, which is a pretty good frame rate for this game. And during slower periods, because this game, you get like hordes that come through. Uh, whenever it's slower, it was pushing 90 FPS. So with DLSS on, with no ray tracing on, I was, again, getting pretty good frame rates. Low 80s during heavy combat, closer to 90 whenever combat was light or nothing was really happening. So on Linux during heavy combat, again, I was getting slightly lower frame rates. So somewhere in the 70s usually, which is still not bad for this game. Um, you know, it's certainly playable. I didn't have any problems, but it was more like 70 to 75 rather than like 80 to 85. Um, during slower sections, it would get up into the high 70s, low 80s. So again, this is a game where I did see some significant performance difference between Windows and Linux with Windows outperforming Linux by a pretty good amount, usually about 10% or more. Um, with that said, I certainly felt it was totally playable at the same setting. So the actual experience wouldn't really be any different on Windows than Linux for me. But, you know, some people really, really value those frames and an extra 10 frames, you know, they would kill for. So if you're that person, again, Windows is going to offer a little bit better performance than Linux with all the settings identical. Now, the final game that I tested was Elden Ring, just because it's, you know, one of the most popular games out there. It's it's huge, and, you know, I, I really enjoy the aesthetics, so I know that there's a lot of people that really like this game. So, once again, I'm playing it at 4K with pretty much everything maxed. I think I don't have the ray tracing cranked as high as possible. I think I've got it, um, I've certainly got ray tracing on, I just don't have it maxed maxed I've got it on high so with that on my computer basically on Windows it pretty much locks out at 60 because that's the game's max frame rate uh, it would occasionally dip into the 50s maybe you know during something crazy happening you would see lower frame rates during combat maybe uh, in the low 50s but Pretty much if you're just running around looking at scenery and stuff, uh, it, it pulls close to 60 most of the time. Now, with that said, this is a game that on Linux, I did have some problems getting it just to play on the right screen. The game itself ran great on Linux. I didn't really have significant problems. And so whenever I'm playing it on Linux, I would say the frame rate is fully equivalent to what I saw on Windows. So it was at least as good, if not a little better, than Windows as far as frame rates. Again, you're running at 60 FPS pretty much the whole time during heavy combat. It might dip a little, but I don't know that it dipped as much on Linux as it did on Windows. So with that said, the only problem was I couldn't get it to play on my main screen. I actually had to unplug my monitors and only leave the one that I wanted it on because it would default to the wrong monitor and there was no way to switch it. And so that kind of sucked. But 
once it's running, it ran absolutely perfect. And so, once again, it's a game that runs equivalent, but I did have some niggling problems with that. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. You know, I know it's it's not maybe the most professional benchmarking that you've ever seen, but I really just wanted to highlight, yeah, you can game on Fedora, no problem. For the most part, I find the experience of playing to be fully equivalent between playing on Linux and playing on Windows. There are occasional issues, but they're usually not that big a deal. Linux does sometimes have slightly worse frame rates, but keep in mind, the frame rates that you're seeing are mostly screen capped and they will be a little higher if you're not streaming or recording via OBS. The other thing I would say is I'm just running base vanilla Fedora. I'm not running any optimized kernels. Um, you know, you can run Nobara, which is a Linux distribution based on Fedora that's very much set up for gaming and it might squeak out even better performance. I don't know. I don't use it. I've tested it. It works great. I just didn't see any need for it, so I just went back to base Fedora. And so with that, you know, if you're worried about gaming, I would say for the most part, it's really not that big a deal. If your games are available on Linux, if they don't have like anti-cheat problems, then they're probably going to run fine. And yeah, there may be a few of them that you're sacrificing a little bit of frame rate, but for me, the experience isn't different. I'm not going to notice the difference in frame rate for most of these games. So anyway, just wanted to put that out there because people had asked about gaming on Fedora. Yep, it's totally fine. Uh, here's a selection of games that I actually play. I haven't went out and bought games that I don't play. So if there's something you didn't see, yeah, I'm not playing all the newest, hottest games all the time. But these are some newer games, some older games, some really popular games, some graphically intensive games, just so you can see what works, what doesn't, and the frame rates that you're likely to get. If you got any feedback or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I appreciate it.